The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, stated that the 43-member committee must consider those bills and prioritize them. Right Honorable Abbas noted that the National Assembly during the last alteration exercise rejected the five gender bills, property protests from women group and civil society organizations. The Speaker also charged the committee to further deplete the exclusive legislative list to consolidate some of the strides made during the last attrition. He added that the ongoing attrition is going to be the most comprehensive ever done. He listed state police and local government autonomy as some of the priority issues. Through this careful and considered process, we can achieve sustainable and impactful changes for the good of our country and all Nigerians. Earlier in his welcome address, the committee chairman, Kalu, said the panel would work tirelessly to deliver on its mandate within the next 24 months. Kalu stated that in the discharge of its assignment, the committee would ensure that every voice is heard, every perspective is considered, and every citizen is empowered to participate in the shaping of the nation's future. He listed areas of consideration in the amendment to include establishment of state police, state access to mines, increased participation of women in politics, clear specification of the taxes and levies to be collected by each tier of government and the provision for the office of the mayor of the federal capital territory, Abuja. The deputy speaker also assured Nigerians that proposals passed on the last constitution review, which were not assented to by the president, will be reversed. The constitution review committee of the 10th National Assembly stands ready to embrace the challenges and the opportunities that lie ahead, leveraging the power of technology, social media, Inclusive engagement, we will ensure that every voice is heard. The chairman of the Conference of Speakers of State of Assembly, Adebayo Ogudoyi, on his part, said the state assemblies will stop at nothing to ratify the Constitution Alterations Bill once they were transmitted by the National Assembly. The Senate President, Goswil Akpabi, represented by the Deputy Senate President, Barua Jibrin, gave the assurance that the Senate and House committees will work seamlessly to ensure a comprehensive review of the Constitution, adding that the process was not just a law review, but an amendment with the potential to reshape the nation's democracy. It is an important opportunity to reinforce the pillars of democracy, justice, and equity that our nation stands on. The amendments we are set to deliver upon carry the potential to shape our country's future. I also would like to especially commend um, this particular committee for taking a proactive measure of starting this um, constitutional review in such manner in which they have also incorporated the state actors, be it the conference of the speakers of state legislatures and also the executive arm of, um, of government at the sub-national level. How we can harness the effectiveness and resource that women possess as about equal number of population. So it is something that the National Assembly must consider, Your Excellency Deputy Senate President, Your Excellency uh, the Deputy Speaker, how we can make special constitutional provisions allow for greater representation of women in elected offices proportionate to their population. Best orator reporting for BTV News.